Hello, in this video tutorial you will learn how to install and configure Windows Server 2003 Internet Information Service IIS for internal website <coughs> by tech.ptechrise.com Ok, on the server, log on, to a, log on with the administrative rights. Now, we strongly recommend you to see our previous video the video number 21 for further information this is a part 2 of the series now go to start first we have to install the IS so go to start control panel add and remove program add and remove windows component on add and remove windows component select the application server click on details as you can see internet information service click on internet information service click on details now we want the internet information service only so we will keep this like this and then click ok and then click ok and then click next now it will it will prompt you for a CD of Windows Server 2003 I have already inserted the CD on, on this CD room so it will won't ask me once the wizard is finished installation click finish close this go to start all programs administrative tools internet information services On the Internet Information Services, you can see many, op many options Application Pool, Website and Web Service executions, Extensions Now, you will see, when you click on the plus sign of the website, you will see the default website is already there But you want to create, we want to create a new website So, right click on the website click on new and go to website after clicking on the website click next type the description description can be anything which you want to put like HR department or any kind of department or any company name or something like that now let's put C double O L cool one O O N E now let's click next now this is the important part enter the IP address enter the IP address of the using website that means this website which IP address will use now we I have three IP addresses but I will assign the IP address 10.0.0.2 because before in the DNS we configure this IP address for this particular website now I will click next now it is asking for a path for a website now to give a path first you need a website well I kept the website on the desktop this is my website folder all the content in the website is here now what I have to do is put this website into somewhere else let's say for drive E I will open the drive E then I will go back to the desktop ok I will copy it and then I will paste it in the drive E after pa pasting the website folder close the drive E and in the path you have to give that, that path 
click on the browse click on the e drive plus sign and select the folder the particular website folder now i selected site this is my website now click ok after clicking ok it will ask you allow anonymous access to the website if you don't allow anonymous access it will prompt you for a uh, what you call uh, authentication now let's click next after that you can give a particular permission which you want to give now let's click next and click finish now as you can see all the content in the folder is showing here now after configuring this right click go to properties on the properties will open now as you can see description cool one and the IP address is showing the port number is showing you can also change the port number if you want to change on the directory security you can put the authentication and all that stuff after that click on the home directory folder on the home directory folder it will show you if you want to change the uh, website it will show you like that okay now let's click on the documents folder documents tab sorry on the documents tab it will show you many kind of stuff like default.html default.asp and index.html is htm now my website is index.htm so i will do one thing i will move it up okay for after i have moved this htm is up apply okay now let's check what is the extension of my main page the extension of my main page is index.html so I have to add one more extension to do that go to documents and click add and type index dot html click ok and move it up on the top apply ok now to open the website open internet explorer now in the internet explorer type the website name the website name was www dot s a c h i n search in s a m y sami dot c C O M. Now press enter. As you can see, the website has been opened. Now this website can be opened by typing the IP address also. Let's type the IP address which I configure for this particular website. The, web, the IP address for this website was 10.0.0.2. Now enter. As you can see, the same thing has happened. Let's see it again. Internet Explorer. and the IP address IP address for 10.0.2 now press enter as you can see it is opening by IP address and it is opening by the name okay now close this you can also open this website from internet is to open this just right click and click on browse as you can see same thing was happened but you don't have to do this now close this the internet explorer now you know how to install IS and how to configure the website in our next tutorial we will tell you how to use FTP and how to configure the FTP on IIS server so don't forget to watch for more information go to tech.petechrist.com tech.petechrist.com by Sachin Sami, powered by tech.pdcast.com. Thank you for watching this video.